Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I go by the name of Unfiltered Kitty. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe to this Unfiltered Fem Honey. As I always say, you can the app of Melin Doni. What are you waiting for? Or anything, you do subscribe so that you can become a member of this Unfiltered Fem Honey. So loves, on today's video, we're actually going to feature Onota. Mainly because of he's so convinced to go see the whole team. Yaga AK is actually behind him being murdered. So guys, I believe most of us actually saw the CCTV that was actually circulating around the internet on how AK was actually shot. So one thing about Unota, like he's so much uh, determined to see like the whole people who are actually behind this are actually on his team. So to a point of view, people were actually... Uh, analyzing the video the cctv that was circulating and they were seeing like things like who uh his friend or aka his friend which is who don't design the way he was looking things and stuff like that uh he might be the one that's actually responsible and stuff like that because of you can see ugutsu lomundu lona is busy like looking at the camera and stuff like that and how he actually covered his ears when like the whole gun actually went off while other people were not aware good to go and yes the other people like the other people who are saying would say uh maybe oh nelly tembe's family is actually behind this whole thing because of let's just be honest uh their daughter actually passed away 2020 okay 2021 i'm not quite sure but uh, in 2022, we know Oguti Oeke started like uh getting his life back to a point Oguti started dating on a guy, and then his life went like no as normal as if like he never lost any fiance and stuff like that. Maybe there might be a reason for them to want to kill him because of we saw on that video that there were people who actually were sent to kill him specifically. There's no way good see this thing was actually accidental and stuff like that. So Uno Tayena on his own uh mindset, like he so much believes Uguti, uh his team is actually behind this mainly because of they trying to get some money out of this person and obviously we know in terms of this being a celebrity and stuff like that people will start uh, putting pr just to like obviously remember oak and stuff like that and obviously that uh board events they, they will make money out of oak even though he's no longer here so obviously as people we are special like speculating would say what happened and stuff like that but we'll never know the answer but Unota specifically he's so determined to a point good he doesn't even mind saying everything on the internet he that is not even scared Uguti people will actually sue him at this point so this is what Unota actually had to say about this whole situation and he even included U, which is this guy oh young Ashiv we need the we need the truth. You know too much. You know a lot. Why is Yanga calling me? Saying, Oh no, how can you say that about Don Design? Don Design. I say, Yanga, I analyzed that video myself. What are you saying? Motherfucker, you lived in my house. You lived under my roof. When you call me, you greet me like I'm your father. I took care of you. You 1987 born, 36 year old, can't take care of himself. Your whole entire career is because I kept you in Joburg. You would have been in Queenstown, at your mom's house, suffering, struggling. But my mom treated you like her own son. My family treated you like part of the family. I treated you like part of the family. I made sure that your rent is paid. You're looking good. You're nice. What did you do? You got jealous. And you wanted what I had. You can't have what I had. As young chief, how am I going to now perform all these songs that I did with Keenan and everything else. I'm not be heartbroken that he was taken so brutally. Angry, I'm not screaming at my phone every day. I'm Yanga Chief. I'm AKA's right hand man, right? Right hand man, right? So why is the right hand man, why is AKA's Gustavo? It's Gustavo. Looking, is that what you want? That's why I got rid of you, you motherfucker. You would have had me, dog. I took care of you and you would have had me killed. I gave you my Viano for a year. You brought it back. After this, you didn't even take care of my shit, dog. You are unappreciative. Then you say I turned my back on you. I kept, dog. 
I gave you dignity. And, and you say, all of, you are able to take care of your family because of me. All of you, motherfuckers, you ungrateful motherfuckers, you killed Keenan. Tibbs is a motherfucking lifesaver in real life, dog. In real life. And as sad as we are that Tibbs had to go, we need to thank God that Tibbs was there to ensure that we got the footage and we saw how they took Keenan out, how his friends took him out. You want to know why I flew to Cape Town to be there with Keenan for his lowest moment? It's because I knew that those around him were using him as a cash cow. That's all they saw in him. They saw a cash cow. I couldn't believe it. I looked at my homie and I was like, at your lowest moment, everyone around you sees you as a cash cow. They don't even want to help you. They don't even want to make sure that you're in a good mental condition. They don't care about any of that. They just see you as a cash cow that they can milk and milk and milk and milk. And now that they've figured out a way to milk you, not a longer around, they'll take you out. They'll take you out. We're not going to allow anyone to profit off the death of AKA. Never. Let me tell you something about me. I never, ever took a cent from AKA, never earned a cent, never did anything that has anything to do with business. Why? Because I kept it strictly as friendship. Strictly as friendship. And that friendship is still maintained to this day. And I can't let my friend be taken out like this. I cannot. I cannot. My friend and I might have agreements, disagreements, all that stuff, but I can't let him be taken out like a dog. Not a fucking chance. Not a fucking chance. Not a fucking chance. The colored community, this is a test to you guys. They test, they kill colors like this, they leave them in the streets to show you that they don't care about colors. Why was Keenan surrounded by all these cafes? It's because he knew that he needed these cafes to get him ahead. He needed them. And then these cafes knew that once they get him ahead, they're gonna take him out and then use him to make money. Get rid of all these cafes around Keenan. I'm telling you, colored community, stand up. A kafir is a kafir. Ukasimu chinji dai man. You understand? That's why I realized, younger chief, you're a kafir. That's why I couldn't do any more for you. I've done so much for you. You are ungrateful. I couldn't do any more. And then you call me and say, I turn my back on you. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. How, how do you? How, how do you? In a round line. You went to people that stole money from me, dog. And went in partnership with people that I was telling you. These guys are stealing money from me. They st I did an interview on, is it, uh, earn your whatever, earn your, li whatever, something, uh, uh, my setup or something. You understand? And I spoke about, I, I was no little younger. Because you can't be friends with someone who's competing with you silently, who's jealous of you, who's going to stab you in the back, shoot you in the back of the